Hey everyone, this is Sky from Nifty, and today we're going to cover the core layout of Nifty, how teams are structured, and what our interface does. So let's start by going to our team settings. There are three role permission levels here in Nifty. First, we have one owner per team, in this case that's me. You can have multiple admins, this team only has one and that's Angie, and then you have team members. There are distinctions between the powers of these roles, especially when it comes around portfolios, and we'll cover that in a little bit. If I'm the team owner, I'll have access to the general settings. This is where I can change the avatar, as well as the team name, URL, toggle on and off our team chat, and require my team to use Google SSO. As a user, I have access to my settings where I can upload my wonderful avatar, put my name, email, password in, but I also have my notification settings. And this is where you can choose how Nifty is going to notify you of things. As you can see, I'm on Nifty all day, and I don't really need email follow-ups from Nifty, but you might, or your client might. So that's a good way of toggling on and off how you want Nifty to communicate with you. So what we just covered was one team. And to be clear, I'm part of three of them here. These teams have completely unique sets of data that don't communicate with each other whatsoever. So if you want to bring multiple of your teams on NFT, like design and development, that's going to be done through portfolios. In this case, we have three portfolios. General, this is the portfolio we automatically give you that your entire team is invited to. And then we've created two custom portfolios. As an admin or an account owner, you can create portfolios. Project members, or team members rather, can only create projects within a portfolio, and that's only in portfolios that they're assigned to. So in this case, Carlos and em Emily get access to all of these projects and create can create projects in the key accounts portfolio. Similarly, Angie and David can create projects here and have access to all of these. But you can be part of just one project in a portfolio. In this case, Carlos and Emily are in intake. They won't see who's in this portfolio and they won't see the other projects in the portfolio. And they won't be able to create projects in this portfolio. So that's where you can really see the striations of power in Nifty. You have the owner and admins who can create new portfolios and manage those portfolios. And then you have team members who can create projects within the portfolios that they're a part of. All members of your team also have access to team chat. These are discussions that you can have with your team members that are not part of a project. In this case, I've created a group chat with Carlos and Angie talking about our favorite TV shows. I guess we don't watch very many of them, but I can create group chats, a new group chat by doing my see all. And this is where I'm going to get access to everyone who I can talk to on my team and create a whole new chat. So we can do music and I'll invite David and Emily to that one. And hopefully there's a little bit more discussion that's going to go on there. Now, if you're going to be working with outside collaborators using our guest role, note that guests are only involved on a project level. They won't see the name of their portfolio their project is in. They won't see anyone on your team who's not in their project. And they won't have access to your direct messenger. They'll only be able to communicate with you on the project level. We'll cover that in a little bit. So let's create a project here. Let's create in our key accounts. Let's create one for the big client. This is the big fish. Okay, so earlier when I said if you are part of a portfolio, you have access to all of the projects in that portfolio by default, that's true, unless people create private projects. And in this case, whoever created that project, the account owner, and anyone else they invite to that project have access to it. But most people end up creating public projects. If you need a jumpstart on your workflow, I encourage you to check out our pre-made workflow templates that really help you figure out a good way to get going quickly. And you can preview what the layout of those templates are here. You can always work off of these and customize them to your needs. And you can save your own favorite workflow as a saved template so you can enact it quickly in the future. 
I'd also like to point out the configure button. And this is where I can shape a project to my specific needs. So if I don't need any of these modules, I can disable them. I'm not gonna do that right now. Okay, so we want to go back and let's create this project. Okay, so we're starting out in tasks, but I'm actually gonna go up here to invite members to this project. This is who is currently part of this project. We can see it's us three because we're part of the portfolio it was made in. And this is where I can invite guests to the project. So we have one called the guest. He can be the big guest. We'll bring him in. And this is where I can invite other members of my team who aren't part of this portfolio into this specific project. We're gonna forego that right now. Every project has five modules milestones, tasks, discussions, docs, and files. And then we have a sixth module, home, that gives you windowed insight into each of these. Milestones are the big picture goals and objectives of the project that will steer us forward and they'll be propelled by the tasks tied to them. Discussions are where your project members can collaborate and even have Zoom calls. Docs are where you're gonna be able to create nifty docs or create or import pre-existing G-Docs, spreadsheets, and presentations. And files are where all the files uploaded in this project will end up, so we know they're there for safekeeping. For a better sense of what to do next as far as putting your project together, I would encourage you to check out our milestone and task videos.